Right. Driver is one of my better clubs. So like that was 115, nice. which is like, yeah, I'm totally comfortable. That felt different. 117. Oh God, that feels Oh my weird. goodness. Goodness sakes. Okay, 122. Wow. That helped. 125. Okay. Hello. Woo. All right. So we've been filming with Seb Trudell and the guys from Ripstick for a couple days. And I gotta say, if I can't get my club at speed like at least 10 mile an hour faster in the next 20 minutes, I don't know what's gonna happen. I might just like go to a pitch and putt course or something uh, and play there. So guys, help me. Can I gain a lot of speed quickly? Is yeah. that possible? What do you think, Sam? Absolutely. Okay, all right. So we'll set a baseline. We'll yeah. see where it's at, and then we'll see. Let's do it. I am warmed up and loose. See previous video to see how to do that. Hips uh, are mobile, glutes are activated. The hips are mobile and the glutes are activated. Well, let's see where the club head speed's at. Just a normal drive. Now, Cordy, you're a pretty good player. Let's let's be honest. What, yeah. What's your handicap? Like a one, zero yeah. one. We're yeah. we're kind of floating around. Yeah. It's going up lately, which is which is fun to see. <laughs> fun to see. It's fun to see. Don't have to give so many dots. And driver's a good club for you, but you, you'd like a little more speed, right? Driver's one of my better clubs. Yeah. So like that was 115, nice. which is like, yeah, I'm totally comfortable just hanging out at 115 club head speed. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's get another one. Oh, that was solid. Okay, 110. So 110 club head speed. 164 ball really, speed. Really good numbers, 164 ball speed. That's great. That's not enough? It's not enough. Come Did on, you man. hear the sound of my driver compared to him hitting? Feels like it sounds like ding. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> ding. I feel like we can get you up to like one one eighteen to be honest. Okay, we'll get you up there. Okay, all right. More you hit, a few tips along the way, yeah. some speed, some speed stuff. I reckon in the next what 20, yeah. 10, 20 minutes we'll be one eighteen, one twenty. Okay. Let's get to 120. So what do you see, Seb? I mean, I see a couple things. What do you see with this move? Where's low hanging fruit? I see the lower bodies just like rotation-wise, the hips, to me anyway, they just look like it's, they're staying kind of still. Okay. Uh, instead of like, like mine's obviously exaggerated, but I'm really turning into that, that trail side and then turning through hard as well. Yeah. Instead of just like the shoulders and coiling into it, like, like sort of that. Yep. That's, uh, that's something I picked up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you go to old school and Tiger in his heyday was like this, right? Yeah. I mean, if you if you turn your hips, the range of motion was so much bigger. And then you can go ahead and turn them here too. Exactly, but yeah. I think you can rotate a lot more. So just, and, and then that helps get speed. the club head yeah. higher, get more. Right. You know, force there. applied over a longer period of time, more yep. speed, right? So let's lengthen the swing with better hip turn. I mean, that's one thing that helps you be so fast is you're tall and your arms are so long, they yeah. go way up here. Arms are up here yeah. and they can rotate back here. And then from there, it's just rotate, hands are like still up there. Yeah. And they're just getting wider and wider as you rotate. So we're gonna focus on what, huge turn, get into that trail huge, hit bigger. Huge turn. Okay. Huge turn. <laughs> wow, went higher. I, I, that was the best part was like, I felt like, whoa, where, I'm gonna lose sight of the ball. Do you see the ball the whole time uh, that you're? I, like, do you lose sight, when you're back at the top, do you like lose sight of it? Honestly, I could not tell you at all. <laughs> okay. like, it's, when I get back to here, it's blank it's, after it's, I do the first pump. So it that, just blacks out. That was good though. That was faster. That was 116. Okay. Uh, okay. It was interesting. Like you launched it higher with yeah. more spin. So it didn't actually go farther, but we we need to refit your driver if right. you're hitting up on it and hitting it higher with more spin. And right. we, we could try maybe something to do. Yeah, we could try Seb's that. driver at the end yeah. here. Yeah. Two degrees might be enough for you to control that. <laughs> control the spin. Yeah. And yeah, we're into With this new unlocked rotation. hip rotation yeah. and full speed, club <laughs> speed. Okay, so big rotation back. Let's. Big and fast rotation back, you see. Okay. Man. That felt different. Yeah. Look at that. 117. 117. We're okay. climbing. Okay. We're climbing that speed chart. Okay. I like it. And Seb, you mentioned like go back fast too, right? I mean, that's something mm. a lot of people say, well, I'll swing easy, especially when it's breezy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ever going to try to slow your backswing down to get control? No. It doesn't no, work, it doesn't does it? Work. Faster you can swing back, the faster you have, you can swing through because it's, it's just moving at that speed and then you can just rip from there and it's, 
you get Still some back. stretch reflex, yeah. right? So the thing will actually kick, and that's part of the, the beauty of your double double pump is yeah. the thing kicks on that second pump, second pump and yeah. you get some extra speed. It's like an elastic are band. You, when you pump, do you try to go back as fast as you can? Like, are you trying to whip it back? I'm not really focusing on that on the speed of that as much anymore, okay. but I, it is that fast tempo, I'd say. Yeah. And then during the speed, just when I'm sort of up towards those peak ones, one thing I will do to jump a few extra miles an hour is just take it back faster like that so really? everything moves back fast, like, and then like that. So it's like that elastic band just stretching and then once you release, it's like you just let it go. That's, that's funny. The, I've had a speed lesson from Sasha McKenzie and that was his tip was faster backswing. That's just mm -hmm. one of the, mm -hmm. the big keys. Mm -hmm. It's hard though, honestly. Like it feels like you're just flying out of control. Timing when you, when you feels off a little bit yeah. at first, but yeah. once you get used to it, you'll definitely be quicker. That little drop kicky. Okay. Yeah. The club face is uh, yeah. all over the you place. You got to 116 yeah. there. Is that only 116 club head speed? See, 116 is impressive that because drop kicks I found are always slower. They're slower. Club really? speed, yeah, yeah. You probably bump the, bump the ground a little bit, yeah. right? So as we're working through this, how often do you see uh, contact get worse, Seb, as you're starting to work mechanics that are new? It's it's like you're relearning the swing almost. It's, uh, it's just that unfamiliar sort of feeling. You don't really know where you are like hands wise, body wise, it's a bit all over the place. Timing as well can be a tough thing, but that's when again, it comes back to that dedication to sticking to what you are working on and putting in the work so that eventually becomes ingrained in the, just a new habit. Yeah, you have to get used to the new normal, right? Exactly. Yeah. Have you ever had a drill kind of put you backwards at first before you got faster? Pretty much every drill except the double pump. <laughs> the double pump was Every the drill one. except the double pump. 119, 119. So now you're well above tour average, actually, right? Okay. 114, 115 is tour average, so we're getting over it. Um, foresight might measure a little faster, but we're definitely at least tour average. Okay. We can get, we'll get past 120 here. Easily. <laughs> Contact is so Contact's hard. It's so hard. Yeah. On this one, let's try something with breathing. Okay. Let's try 10 breaths, just real like fast pace and shallow like yeah. like that. And then you can also do one where you rapid blink like 10 times. Try that and do rapid while, blink. while you blink like like that, just do And then with that breathing and then go in. When do you do, do the it. breathing? Like right before you hit or before you set up? As you're walking into it and as you're setting over it and when you finish, just, just go. Okay. Just finish. Here we go. So you're getting pumped up and then you're doing your hip and hip stuff. Did you get your uh, your caffeine drink going too? I, I should go get another run. <laughs> yeah, uh, 500 milligrams caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay, that was good. 116? Oh. No. You can get a that bit, you can, great. you can get further back into your back. That felt great. Yeah. Get a bit longer. All right. More turn in the hips. I don't believe it. Little drop kick, you yeah. said, ah, slower. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. When the club head hits the ground, it's just decelerating and you see those lower numbers. Does the swing look different? Like, to me, it feels like I'm not even, I'm not even swinging. I'm just like yeah, a wild person. Yeah, it looks different. Okay. I mean, you're turning your hips a lot more. Okay. There's more stuff going on. <laughs> this is great. Ball first is going to be quicker. Okay, good strike anyway. Let's get 115. Good strike. Why is that going slower? All right, Cordy, let, let's try um, just a little bit of leverage and try to try okay. to feel just, you know, a little more relaxed wrists on a couple. Okay. So, you know, for Seb, obviously with this super key, for the average amateur, they yep. sometimes hold on so tight that they don't actually use this lever enough. Okay. And so I think it'd be okay to like feel that thing whip a little bit more. Okay. Which is, which is uh, you know, a little bit different in terms of build and strength, possibly. Like this might be a better better tool for you. you this know? could, yeah, unlock that yeah. certain two things. Yep. So a little, little faster with your hands, let the hands whip.
That was definitely 120. Did you feel more lag there? I did, yes. Yeah. I felt it kind of like yeah. do something at the top yeah. where it kind like of- Like it sort of sets yeah. as you're coming down. I think that's yeah. the difference between maybe just how you're built. Like yeah. for you, you're strong enough to actually get here and keep it wide. Yeah. I'm I guess my, lo my arms are all like the longer legs yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And rely on that a bit more. Okay. So we got wrists, loose wrists. Yes. I mean, try to think about how fast could you swing if you had no wrist leverage at all. Be like this, Yeah, right? not very fast. You start getting here, get some swish, right? What's so funny though is, Seb, your, your backswing is very much just right. like not right. wrist. And then you. Yeah. yeah, that first pump. And then maybe in the downswing, you, you still, see that. Still, you have yeah. plenty, even though you 20s. don't feel yeah. it, right? It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll do another wrist one. We got to do the short breaths. I'll try the blinking this time. Okay. Yeah. Blinking. Add the blinking in. You actually do that. In a speed session, yeah. Okay. Towards the end, it just, just everything just moved, just rapid moving. Wow. Rapid firing. One nineteen. Okay. Okay. So the wrist cue is definitely getting us faster. Okay. We like that one. We like that. And we can, and we're turning more now too. Yep. So we're turning more, and we got loose wrists. Got up to 120. We'll do another one. Let's see. Oh, that was solid. 118. Yeah. Okay. Quite a few. I mean, it's 297 that's carry. That's good. It's not Into bad. Into the wings. 297 carry. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're happy with that. Reasonable. Okay. I need a few more miles an hour. <laughs> Let's go. Should I try this? extra inches longer. <laughs> okay. Yes. Loft a little lower as well. Yes. I'll get you some more balls here. Most this importantly, is definitely the key, isn't it? The kangaroo yeah. lever grips. Yes. That's the important part. Okay. And what, what flex is this driver again? This one is closer to a regular, regular flex. Got it. So more flex on this driver versus my driver. Yeah, That's, this one just feels like That a makes light a ton of to sense, doesn't it, folks? That is, of this whole weekend, I think that you're playing a regular flex and then senior flex. So it's, uh, wa it's wacky from what you think, right? Stiffer, stiffer, stiffer. Yeah. Stiffer lowers spin, but the other way to lower spin is loft. So you play a yeah. two degree driver with a whippy shaft, you yeah. get ball speed and low spin. Okay, so last one on there is 118. My high is 120. We got a longer driver. Longer That's driver. That's gonna help. Yep. Okay. Oh God, that feels weird. Oh my weird. goodness. Goodness sakes. Okay, 122. Wow. That helped get, okay. get us up that. there going a little bit. We've, um, in terms of club speed gain, for every inch over a standard, it's we've estimated anywhere from two to three mile an hour gain per okay. inch. Once, Obviously, once you learn how to swing the club and time it properly, because yeah. that can be one thing where you swing that, that's, this is like three inches shorter than yeah. that one. Yeah. So you have to learn how to time it, where it is in the backswing and where to let it go. Okay, so 122 club head speed, which okay. makes sense, right? We got 125 in there, don't we, Cordy? Okay, yeah, we do. Anyway, hold on, let me do the. I gotta do the breathing and the blinking. Give me, give me just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. God, that felt good. 124. Woo! Okay, mm -hmm. we're climbing. Wow. 178 ball speed. That's. We don't have to talk to, about where the ball went, but it was no, fast. No, yeah. it was fast. Again, they're all right down the middle, as I've been saying. <laughs> exactly. Once, we'll just edit the shot, try yeah. some. 178's is pretty good, though. That, That's yeah. faster than you've ever been, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get a long driver now. I'm sold. Ah, no, 123. Okay. What I love about this driver is that literally, like, it goes. <laughs> It almost looks like it has top spin and then it just like gets over and then it starts. <laughs> the spin was 950 there, so we're actually oh seeing gosh. some of these just not getting there. But again, that's two degrees of loft stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Just a different uh, different game. Because with this, you have to well, you have to like throw it back here, right? Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah, my attack get angle is getting like again six to ten degrees up. It's crazy. Which just gets it airborne and that 190 yeah. feet apex. 123. Okay. I got, uh, I gotta get faster. Okay, last one is, 25. let's see if you can get a little more vertical on the on the follow through. So just feel what like does that mean? Jump a little bit. Get okay. this, get the sub twadel, jump out of the shot a little bit. And just use the ground a little bit. My feeling for that, this whether this applies to you, may or may not, but my yeah. feeling was my left hip bone, it was turning so much that 
this leg just has to get out of the way. Okay. I feel like it's turning like that and it's just gonna move by itself. This continues to turn until you reach the swing. Right. That makes sense. And that's because your feet are always going. Exactly. My like feet that. end up over here yeah. on my follow through. There's nobody in long drive that's like planted, are they? No. no. I've, you, you wouldn't have a knee for much longer. You wouldn't have a knee, exactly. You wouldn't be competing for yeah. very long. Yeah. 123. Okay. Come on. You're All right. Six degrees up on it now, so that's changing. Getting there. More All right, one more. We got. You got I, it. I've got 125. Do we hit? What is the ball speed on that one? That had to be. Is that a 312 good carry, 166. Okay. 312 carry. That's pretty good. That's okay. Where'd I finish in long drive if I joined in? It's fine. I'm close, right? You're all you're getting there. <laughs> the junior you're division. There for the, the yeah, yeah. yeah, is there a is, you can saw the you can saw the junior division okay. up. Okay. <laughs> I probably the senior division's probably much better than oh, yeah. that, but okay. Ah, oh my gosh. It's about 122. 80, 80 yard carry. Well, ball speed 177. It's not slow. The RPM on that was 399. <laughs> I wish you could just say it, just go. Flight <laughs> shot tracers this. That is incredible. We're gonna get 125. Hold on guys, give me three more balls. Like what are your sessions like? So I had fast and now I went down, right? And then like I got to 124, now yeah. I'm at 122. It's like levels. So like even starting out the session, you start at that speed and then you yeah. jump up. And then after a certain point, it sort of plateaus for a few balls and then you jump up to that next level plateau. Huh. And then you just keep aiming to have that jump, and then that brings you a new baseline up as well. Okay. And you find a cue as that work along the way, right? I mean, you're, there's some oh, exploration, right? Yeah, so exactly. Maybe oh. we need whippy wrists again. Whippy right? wrists. Whippy wrists. A little more lag. Longer swing, more lag. 125. Okay. Oh, there we go. Woo. Nice Woo. work. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. 125. Club at speed, that's my fastest ever. I gotta go order a long drive driver now. Uh, with two degrees of loft so you can hit those low bullets. <laughs> those low bullets with 300 RPM. Uh, thank you guys, that was fun. Uh, make sure to go back and catch the full series with Seb and Luke. Tons of information all about how to hit it farther.